What's up guys? Box truck build day one is officially upon us. Um, we're going to be racing the weather a little bit because it's supposed to be uh, all rainy and shitty here uh, later this afternoon. So there's definitely a bunch of little stuff I want to get done today. Um, but this is really our, our first time really working on the box truck. Uh, we had a very constructive meeting uh, last night about design. So there might be some design changes. That's going to be in a, in, a, in a later video. I'm going to take you guys through our uh, SketchUp model and kind of show you what the what the plan for the back is. Today we're primarily going to be working under the hood and in the cab. So there's a, there's a few little things I want to get done. So there's nothing really to do it but to uh, get to it. Now, I got some basic rules in life. The first is, when in doubt, whip it out. And the second is, you got to go after the low-hanging fruit first. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to replace this old air filter. Now it has this thing where you can like test it while it's running and it'll show you how much vacuum it's pulling and whatnot. But I decided that since we're starting a new life with our box truck, it deserved all the new filters it could get. That sure feels like 15 foot-pounds. So the biggest line item for today is I want to see if I can get at least the passenger seat done uh, and get the because the adapters will be the same on both sides. I'm still missing the switch for this, but I got these super minty, only 30,000 original miles uh, GMC truck seats for like 200 bucks for the pair, which is an absolute steal. Um, but the passenger side is fully mechanical, so what we're going to do is we're going to take out the uh, factory seat. And it's got several levels of braces and I'll show you guys that in a second and basically just use the lower level I think and then adapt it to fit the seat with a couple of pieces of uh, steel plate so first thing we gotta do is we gotta get here in the truck and begin removing these seats now the another nice thing is we can actually take these whole seat belt pods everything out because our new seats have integrated seat belts that are probably actually safer and nicer than the ones in here but as you can see there's uh, two sets there's bolts that hold this and then there's bolts that that attach to this bottom bracket i would like to keep this bottom bracket because it seems to be the right height adapt the uh the chevy seat to, to match up to this right here the only big deal is going to be the parking brake over there because uh, we might have to do the seat slightly off center to accommodate for it but the passenger seat should be fairly easy uh you know famous last words so this is definitely one of those good news bad news type situations the good news is is that the seat gm seat fits in here the bad news is is that it just barely fits in here um, and here you can see the two seats side by side it's not the extra height it's the uh it's the little bit of extra depth and the angle but it's i mean just dropping it in there and letting it sit on the frame rails here um, it makes this so much more comfortable. Uh, the driver's side is not going to be fun to fit, but it looks like we should be able to get away with using these seats. I mean, you won't really have any sort of lean back adjustment or like front to back adjustment because if you move the seat forward at all, your legs are going to get cut off. Um, but still, it's better than the factory garbage. Uh, so we are going to just use this, and what I have in here is just a piece of cardboard. And what we're going to do is basically just put this like right here and use a sharpie uh, to mark off where the holes are and then we will take this and basically transfer it uh, to the bottom of that seat and figure out where those holes are and then we're just going to make some pieces of like quarter inch steel or something that'll uh, basically adapt those brackets so making these adapter plates requires some thinking and some math but it's not really the most complicated thing ever and so here's our basic layout for the outboard side. Um, this is where we will bolt to the original factory mount, and this is where we will bolt to our GM seats. This is a 1 8 inch plate. Um, I think 1 8 inch plate is gonna be fine once it's all bolted in. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not super worried about the bolts tearing out or anything because the, the mounts in there are all just stamped steel and the mounts that's on the bottom is 1 8 inch thick. 
but so basically I measured out and the inside for the uh, factory mounts is 10 inches center to center and the GM seat on that side is 14 inches center to center um, and then there's this gap right here which is the same on both sides uh, in the end we're probably gonna have to compensate a little bit on the second mount that we make but for now this is the first thing we're gonna do um, and I'm gonna go ahead and drill out all the holes first while I got this big piece here so I can clamp it down and then we'll just get an angle uh, grinder and start cutting So there's our finished uh, mount. I'm gonna put some more coats of paint on it uh, and then basically throw it in there. Unfortunately, we can't move on to building the driver's side today uh, because I don't have the switch. Our actual driver's side uh, seat is a power seat. Like the Chevy seat is a power seat. And so I need to build an adapter for the battery um, just to be able to move it around so we can get everything situated like it needs to be and um, get all the bolts and stuff on it. And I don't have the switch for it, uh, which is kind of the big deal because it's got like a six way position switch. So without that, I can't really uh, do too much else with that today. Well, there we go. Passenger seat is in. There is not a lot of room in here. I mean, this is basically, there's two basic positions, basically this, or you can move the whole seat forward one click and lean the seat back one click, but the seat belts work and it's in there pretty good. Um, and you still have the ability to move the whole thing forward if you need to and lower the seat back to access, you know, road spares and stuff that's going to live back here, um, like the triangles and whatnot. Um, then this, let me just slide it all the way back or, uh, obviously that's full upright. So this probably goes like right here and the seat gets leaned back and that's kind of the seating position. Um, I mean, you can tell the difference between this seat and it's not bolted on all the way. I just got to test bolt it in, but uh, it's already a hell of a lot more comfortable to sit in. Basically, if I bring you down here, you can see the bracket. All we did was we moved this down one inch on the driver's side. I'm probably going to move it down like two inches, but we brought it down an inch here um, and basically just welded on this one eighth inch steel plate and then bolted the uh, the seat to it. And as you can see, there's tons of space in here. Um, underneath the seat, we can store all kinds of stuff without it getting in the way of the mechanism. And yeah, for sure, on the driver's side, I'll probably drop it one inch lower uh, than it is even right here because the uh, steering wheel is on the driver's side. Because when I sit in this seat and look out, it's definitely higher up uh, than the driver's side and you get a much better vantage Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start taking off uh, this door cover and the other door cover and uh, see if I can't start dyno matting this and maybe get the, uh, the roof done as well today.
there's one door that's uh, basically fully dynamatic. It's a lot easier to do because it's pretty all pretty much smooth surfaces. Uh, so let's see if we can get the door card and everything back on here and go over and do the passenger side. We're going to call it a day for today. Got the air filter in, got our uh, passenger seat in. I filled up the AC with like stop leak and Freon and it seems to be blowing cold. So here's kind of our uh, finished product over here. Um, having just dynamated just the doors, I don't know that it's gotten significantly quieter in the cab, but uh, I think it has a little bit and every little bit's going to help and uh, we're going to go back and dynamat the whole floor and as much of the dash and the uh, ceiling and like roof line as we can. Um, but I put in like six seven hours today and I'm, I'm pretty tired so I think we're gonna we're gonna call it a day here on for day one of this build um, you know as as we as I kind of get a little bit more direction this is gonna go a little bit faster because I'm gonna have some people over here helping uh, and we can you know kind of start working on on some of the stuff in the back um, kind of next I got to figure out how it is and this was doing an oil change with like six gallons of oil uh, but you know small challenges anyway i want to thank you guys for watching if you're uh, new here please subscribe if you like what you see hit that like button leave me a comment let me know this is uh project base box you can search instagram youtube facebook whatever hashtag the base box and i'm max this is max works and i'll see you guys later